To find the exact value of sine of some alpha plus some beta. So I'm going to give you some information about alpha and beta. First thing is that the sine of alpha is equal to three fifths. That in itself is not enough information because sine is positive in two quadrants. So I'm going to tell you that this is quadrant one. And then you're told that the cosine of beta is 2 squared of 13 over 13. Again, you need to know where this is, is taking place. So this is quadrant 4. So from this information, we're going to find the sine of alpha plus beta. So what I'm going to do is draw the picture that each of these given information represents. So in quadrant 1, I'm going to draw a triangle whose sine so this is for alpha, is 3 fifths, so opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, and I'm sure you can tell that the missing sides have been before. For beta, I'm going to draw a triangle in the fourth quadrant, whose cosine is 2 squared of 13 over 13. Now if you unrationalize this, computations might be a little bit easier, so I'm going to do it that way. So the adjacent side is going to be 2, hypotenuse is going to be squared of 13. So then to find that missing side, I'm going to call it x just for a second. So 2 squared plus x squared is square root of 13 squared. So x squared is 13 minus the 4, so this is 9, so x is plus or minus 3. And then because we're in the fourth quadrant, that's going to be a negative. Okay, so now we have both triangles all set up, so finding what we need, we're going to expand out sine of alpha plus beta. Okay, the pattern of that is sine, cosine, cosine, sine, keeping that sine in the middle. Okay, so from our picture, we can figure all of this out. Sine of alpha was actually given as 3 fifths. Cosine of beta was also given as 2 over the square root of 13. I think I'll take it back to the rationalized version. We're going to have to rationalize it anyway. And then cosine of alpha from the picture for alpha would be 4 fifths. And then sine of beta from the picture would be negative 3 over the square root of 13, or I'll just rationalize that now. Okay, so multiplying this out, common denominator would be the 65. So I'm going to end up with 6 square root of 13 minus 12 square root of 13. So this is going to be minus 6 square root of 13.